And even our blue is always here And even our blue is shine so clear I don't need a prayer even what to say No matter what I do I'll we'll never reach your God's say Call it the summer, I'll still burn my heart And rolling red dab in my cheeks is the sound And I'll just start The words I have you are stuck It just feels like a curse that I can't contain Well the two of us meet again I wish I'd told you Hello YouTube, it is I, TVI Fan 2024. Now, yesterday, February 16, 2024, as the day that I'm recording this, um, I did ask in my room on Discord uh, if you guys would like for me to make a Amiibo collection video today. But yesterday I said for tomorrow, and tomorrow is now today, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, most of you, or everybody that did uh, respond, except for one person for some reason, um everyone except for one did say yes and so you know majority rules and today i feel like i'm probably gonna do this every year so every year around february maybe january next year we'll see i'll be making an amiibo collection like an update to show you guys the amiibos i'm collecting because you know like sure i also collect funko pops movies mangas you name it but Right now, the main thing that I really like collecting is Amiibos, of course. I've been collecting Amiibos for years, and I have a lot. Not as much as, like, those diehard Amiibo collectors, but I'm, I'm trying to get there. At least my main goal is to try to collect every single Super Smash Brothers Amiibo. I'm not close, because there's plenty that I do not have. But uh, that's my goal, so maybe in the next five years, who, who knows how long it'll take for me to try to get every single Super Smash Bros. Amiibo, but that is my target. And maybe other Amiibos on the way, like from the Super Mario series, Legends of Zelda, Animal Crossing, etc. But uh, yeah, in this video, I will be showing you guys my current Amiibo collection, and I'm going to go based on series. So first, we're going to start with the Animal Crossing series. I do have a couple Animal Crossing Amiibos, and I'll be showing you guys them here. So let's begin. So I will be going in order based on how I got them or when I got them. So I believe it was, I forgot what year, but it was when Toys R Us was still around. So like 2016, 2017, around that time, um, they had a really good deal with the Animal Crossing Amiibos because like nobody was getting them. So of course they were really cheap and I got four. I forgot how much price, how much the price was, but it was like four for a specific price it was a pretty good deal. I got four Amiibos for a cheap price. And those four Amiibos were all Animal Crossing, I believe. So here's Tom Nook. Um, oh, um, I should probably say beware. Um, there's going to be a lot of Amiibos that has some dust on them because I don't really clean them as much. And I apologize. I should start doing that. But I don't think I have any Clark swipes right now. So I'll do it eventually when I get some more. But anyways, Tom Nook, he looks pretty cool. But I had him for a while, so there's some marks and stuff. Um, yeah, there's, uh, some of these amiibos will also have marks, so also beware for that. Anyways, the next amiibo I got was also Rover. I believe that's his name, this cat. Um, I forgot this guy's name. How did I forget? But this guy, he's like a mole. Um, and also this frog dude. I believe it. Oh, wait, he's a turtle. This turtle dude. Or f I, I don't even know. But yeah, I, I think I got all four of these on the same day um on toys r us so there's these guys next up i got these two with the amiibo i mean with the animal crossing game because it was a bundle um it was not this isabel it was this isabel these two i believe if i'm not mistaken i could be no wait, it's not this one it was the other one i'm pretty sure i could be wrong but i don't remember these two came with a but with the bundle isabel and dugby i believe is his name and yeah, I don't know if I still have the game. I think I got rid of it, but I only cared for the Amiibos, not the game. So yeah, and then next up would be this Isabel. I don't know. I don't remember when I got this one, but I remember getting it because it was pretty cheap. So yeah, and the last Amiibo from the Animal Crossing series I have, which I got last year, a few months ago, actually, um, at a swamp meet. I believe her name was Lottie. And I only got it for like $4. So, of course, I was like, you know, that's a steal. Even though my main target is the Smash Bros. Amiibos. But, hey, if there's an Amiibo that I want to get, 
Sure. Or honestly, at this point, if I see any amiibo with the swamp meat, I'd buy it like as soon as possible, as long as they're in good condition. And yeah, here's all the Animal Crossing uh, related amiibos I currently have. Um, so I'll probably get more, like, you know, as the years come. But for now, here's my Animal Crossing amiibos. Next up, we will go with the Super Mario series. So there's going to be some Mario Party and Odyssey. So let's go with that. All right, now it's time for the Super Mario Amiibos. So I believe the first two we've ever gotten are these two, Mario and Luigi. We got these two on the same day. Um, I believe these were probably the first two Amiibos we've ever received, but um, let's just go one by one. So here you have Mario. He looks really fresh with this OG render of him with his right hand up. And yeah, and also we got Luigi with his also OG render. Um, they look pretty cool, if I say so myself, even though they're kind of basic compared to other Amiibos, but still, they look awesome. The next two, I believe we both, I mean, we got these two at the same day, um, at Toys R Us one night. Uh, Princess Peach, yeah, she looks pretty, pretty, pretty fine, if I say so myself. Um, and also Bowser, but, um, as you can see, this Bowser is in a rough shape, like, his right eye, no, left eyebrow, uh, it got broken, I mean... I, it, it only took one fell, one fall, I should say, and he already lost an eyebrow. And I remember we just put Sharpie to make it, you know, but it still looks pretty weird. Eventually, when I feel like it, I'll probably get another one. But hey, he still looks pretty cool for a Bowser amiibo. And yeah, we got these two at the same day, I'm pretty sure from what I can recall. The next two we got was on Black Friday of 2016, 2017. It was one of those two years anyway. Um, we have Yoshi, who is getting old. As you see, he keeps have marks and the paint is already wearing off on his cheeks. Yeah, we definitely need to get a new Yoshi from the Mario Party game. But hey, he still looks pretty, pretty cool, even though he looks very dirty, but he still looks cool. And we also have Toad, who's also got some marks, like one there. I remember I, like, grabbed a red Sharpie, and I don't even know why I did it, but I, I did it. I, I caused that mark, so it's my fault. And as you can see, the paint on his eye is also wearing off right there. But oh, we still got these Amiibos. Until we get new ones, then I'll probably get rid of them. But they are still pretty cool, I guess. But hey, it's Toad. I don't remember when we got these two, but I'm pretty sure we got these two at the same day. Or three, actually, not two, but three. Um, here's Daisy, the Super Mario Party Daisy Amiibo. Uh, yeah, she looks awesome as well. Rosalina, and she's also got marks. I hate when these figures get marks. Like, it's not just Amiibos. Funko Pops as well, but things happen. And she still looks pretty cool. I really want the Super Smash Bros. one. I do not have her, so sorry if you're looking forward to see that. I do not have her yet. And Waluigi, the goat. I mean, he's there's one mark right there, but he still looks pretty fine. This is the only Waluigi amiibo. Um, come on, if there is going to be another Smash Bros. game, please add Waluigi. He's probably like the most requested character to add right now. I could be completely wrong, but I know there's a huge, huge fan base that really wants a Waluigi in, me included. Come on, if you're going to add another Super Mario Bros. character in the next game, it has to be Waluigi. Like, who else can you add? Piranha Plant was enough. Please, add Waluigi. But uh, hey, at least he's got his amiibo from the Super Mario Party series. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we got those three at the same day. And yeah, yeah. All right, these next two Amiibos I actually got as a birthday gift. I um, am still surprised that I actually got these two because I remember I was at my grandparents' house and like we had family over there. And um, some of my cousins asked like what I liked and I said I liked Amiibos. And then they left and they came back with these two Amiibos for me. I I'm still thankful if, if you guys are watching this video, which you're probably not, but if you, if you somehow um, stumble upon this video. I am deeply thankful for you guys for giving me these two Amiibos. Um, the Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong Super, Pressure, Super Mario Party Amiibos. Thank you. I, I'm very thankful. I'm so glad you guys got me these. And I still have them. Because these two are really good. Honestly, look, look at them. DK and Diddy. Like, the best duo. The best video game duo. Other than Mario and Luigi, of course. But yeah, look at them. They look really cool. 
And that's it for the Super Mario Party Amiibos. The next two Mario Amiibos I have are from the Super Mario Odyssey game. Um, we got Wedding Mario, who looks as fresh as ever. I mean, probably the freshest, like, other than the Super Smash Bros. Mario, this is probably the second best. Because look at how fresh he is. Look at how clean he is. Like, come on, come on, come on, guys, come on. But not only do we have the Wedding Mario, but we also have Wedding Peach. I don't remember when I got these. I'm pretty sure it was at a Target a while back. I don't remember. Or maybe I got these as a... I, oh, yeah, I got these as a birthday gift. Um, I don't remember the year. I believe it was either 2018, 2019, somewhere around there. But, yeah, I remember I got these as a gift. So, yeah, that was cool. And I don't have Wedding Bowser yet, but eventually, when I decide to get him, I will. And that is it for all my Mario-related Amiibos, excluding Super Smash Bros., of course. Now, next up, let's move on with the Legends of Zelda. I only have one. Well, two. I'm just going to go with the rest of the Amiibos that are not Super Smash Bros. related. So, let's go for those. Now, for the Amiibos that aren't Super Smash Bros., but are from different franchises. Let's start with, um, I don't know, Chibi-Robo. He's probably the most odd Amiibo I have. I remember I found him at a Swamp Meet, and I got him. I don't remember the price. I'm pretty sure it was pretty cheap, but I got this guy. And I'm glad I got him. He, he looks really cool. Even though I know nothing about his games, but I know he got an amiibo. He's, you know, special enough to get his own amiibo. It's Chibi Robo. Like, what's not to like? I mean, look at this design. It's cool. Next, let's go with the two Kirby series amiibos I have. Let's start with Kirby. I don't remember if when I got Kirby. I believe Kirby and the other one were both a gift um, for one of my birthdays. As you see, this Kirby has some marks as well. Um, I really need to get the Super Smash Bros. Kirby. Eventually I will, but right now I'm stuck with this Kirby. But hey, he looks pretty cool um, without the marks and stuff. And he's, he's sitting on a star. Remember that um, that star uh, power from the Super Smash Bros. games? That was cool. And yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's Kirby. But not only Kirby, we also got Dedede. Uh Yeah, this was like the first Dedede amiibo I had before the other one, which we'll get to. But this Dedede is pretty cool. Like, you know pretty basic but still it's deity he's probably my he's actually my second favorite kirby character i haven't played a single kirby game i watched a couple of the episodes of the kirby anime but you know super smash bros introduced me to a lot of nintendo characters so um you have super smash bros to thank me to thank for that but look it's deity he looks cool he's got his own hammer and stuff um i still need to get the meta knight and waddle d amiibos then i'll have the whole kirby uh amiibo set but eventually i will get him Next, let's go with the only Splatoon-related amiibo I have, Inkling Girl. I remember I got her at Best Buy one day, and she was only for like $10. So, of course, I had to get her. I mean, it's Inkling Girl. Uh, yeah, why not? I need to get the other Inklings. I'm not really into the Splatoon franchise. I only played the first game like once, never again. Eventually, when I feel like it, I'll get the third one. I don't know about the second one, but... It's, it's Inkling Girl, you know, what's not to like? Next, let's go with this one amiibo I got last Black Friday from the Legends of Zelda series. It's Tears of the Kingdom Link. Um, yeah, I just got him because one, uh, the Best Buy I went to did not have a single Smash Bros. amiibo. So all they had were Legends of Zelda amiibos, which is not bad, of course, but it's like, look, look at this one. Look at how detailed that this amiibo is. He looks really detailed. And yeah. Tears of the Kingdom Link. Very, very awesome. And I got my hands on him, so that's pretty cool. Now, last but not least, uh, I have three 8-bit Amiibos. Let's start with 8-bit Mario, but the very, very old Mario. Because I'm pretty sure I got this at a swamp meet in Las Vegas, from what I remember. It was years ago. I was at a Las Vegas swamp meet, and I found this guy. He was not the only one I got. I got another Amiibo with him, but we'll get to him soon. Uh, but yeah, I got this 8-bit Mario amiibo there, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, like, I like these 8-bit amiibos. They're awesome. And there's 8-bit Mario. But I also have the other 8-bit Mario. I don't remember where I got him. I'm pretty sure it was also at a swamp meet, or maybe it was at a store. I don't remember. But I also have this one, and of course I like this one more. But that one still looks pretty cool. And the last 8-bit amiibo I have is the 8-bit Link amiibo. I'm pretty sure I got this one at a swamp meet. I could be completely wrong, but I got my hands on this 8-bit Link amiibo, and he's awesome. Like, you know, they're 8-bit. Like, they really did a good job with these 8-bit amiibos. 
And these are all the amiibos I have that are not Super Smash Bros. related. The rest are all Super Smash Bros. related amiibos. So let's get to those, shall we? All right, I'm going to put some of the Smash Bros. amiibos here, but the rest will be in there, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just start because the rest of the amiibos I have are all from the Super Smash Bros. series. Because like I said, that's the main series of amiibos I want to collect and now you can see all the Smash Bros. Amiibos I have. So let's start with Olimar, because why not? He's got some marks on his helmet, but that is okay. This was the other Amiibo I got with the old 8-bit Mario Amiibo at that Las Vegas Swamp Meet. I'm so glad I found him. Of course, I have to get him, because like even though I'm not a huge fan of the Olimar character, I want to collect all the Amiibos of Smash, and Olimar was on my bucket list. So yeah, I mean, like, look at this Amiibo. Him with his Pikmin, that looks really cool, if you, if I say so myself. He's probably one of the, like, cool-looking Amiibos uh, compared to some others. But um, yeah, here's the first one, and who's next? Next up, we have the GOAT himself, Mr. Game & Watch. Um, I don't remember if I have the other, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The other alt skins of the Game & Watch uh that came with this amiibo i think i do i don't remember but i put this one on because this was the one from the smash 4 game and even though this is the most basic one it's still mr game and watch like what's not to like like i like this amiibo probably one of the most unique amiibos because it's game and watch but yeah i got game and watch as well i'm pretty sure i bought him at a store no wait, it was on amazon i got him on amazon he was really cheap at the time and I had, a, I had a gift card, so I got Mr. Game & Watch, and look at him. He's cool. It's Mr. Game & Watch. Mr. Game & Watch did come in a three-pack with other old characters. However, I got them all separately. But the next one is Rob. This is not the Rob that came with the three-pack. This is the colored Rob. I don't know what this one is called, but Famicom Rob, I believe that's what it's called. But I got this one at a swamp meet as well. I think I paid like $15 for it. Um, and this is one of the like newer amiibos I got. I think I got this one last year, if I'm not mistaken. But hey, he looks really cool. And this was the one I liked compared to the other one. But of course, I'll get the other one whenever I have time. But yeah, here's Rob. And not only Rob, to end the three pack, I also have da -da -da -da, Duck Hunt. Um, I also got this one on Amazon. He was also cheap at the time. And like, look at this amiibo. Like, uh, this is probably one of my favorite looking amiibos. I like this Duck Hunt amiibo. Um, he looks cool. And yeah, that's it for the three pack. Next up, we have Palutena, um, the one of the most detailed amiibos for sure. Uh, I don't remember where I got her. I'm pretty sure it was Toys R Us. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, I got a lot of amiibos at Toys R Us. I miss Toys R Us. I know it's coming back eventually, but can it be like really soon so that I can get more amiibos if they sell amiibos again at Toys R Us? But yeah, I got Palutena. But she's not the only Kid Icarus amiibo I got. Um, I also have the one, the only, Pit. Yes, Pit as well. He's also really cool. Uh, I remember I got him. It was Christmas of 2016 or 2017. One of those Christmases. I got this Pit amiibo. And it was really cool because it's Pit. I mean, who who doesn't like Pit? It's Pit, right? I still need to get a Dark Pit amiibo though. So... That's one I need to get. But those are my two Kid Icarus Amiibos. Next up, let's start with the Street Fighter series. I got Ryu, or Ryu, however you pronounce his name. Um, I got this Amiibo for, as a Christmas gift from my one of my aunts, so thank you. Um, I got him with another Amiibo, and I'll let you guys know who it is once we get to that Amiibo. But yeah, Ryu, he looks cool. And then when this other Amiibo came out from the Street Fighter series, I remember I went to Walmart. I was kind of like begging my mom at the time if I can get it. And I'm so glad she bought him because it was Ken. He was at Walmart. It was a, around the time when the wave came out. I believe Ken, Daisy, and uh, Young Link. I think it was those two that came out at the same time. But I got my hands on Ken, so I'm glad. Because um, Ken, he's, he's dope. I cannot decide which one looks better looking out of the two because they both look so badass but i got them both and that's really awesome next up for this part of this shelf let's do the castlevania amiibos i do remember i did not get these at the same time because i got simon belmont for one of my it was either a birthday or a christmas of 2021 i think i think it was 2021 but yeah i got him as a gift and he looks really cool one of the best looking amiibos for sure and I also have his clone, Richter, although 
I don't remember if I bought him or if, if he was a gift. I think I got him at a store. I saw him. I had cash. Of course, I had to buy the Amiibos. If I see if I see one, of course, I'll do whatever it takes to get my hands on one. If they're a Smash Bros. Amiibo. If it's one that I don't really care for. If I feel like not buying it, I wouldn't. But if I feel like it, then I would. But yeah, I bo I've got both Richter and Simon. And these two look really, really cool. All right, let's do the Metroid series. I have Samus. This was the other Amiibo I got as a gift with Ryu from my aunt. She bought me two Amiibos that one Christmas, and I was very thankful. Because look at this Samus Amiibo. Like, come on. One of the best looking Amiibos for sure. They really outdid themselves with this Samus Amiibo. And this is one of the very first Amiibos they even made. And still one of the best looking ones. I mean, you can't deny that. Look at how awesome this Amiibo looks. And she's still in good condition after all this time. I'm, 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 I'm really amazed. Amiibos, or Nintendo, you outdid yourself with this Amiibo, definitely. The, one of the best looking ones for sure. Probably top 10 um, in my top 10 anyways. Because look at how detailed and amazing the Samus Amiibo looks. But not only Samus, I also have Zero Suit Samus. I don't remember if I got her at a store or as a gift or at a swamp meet. I don't remember. But I do know that I got my hands on her as well. I'm only missing Dark Samus and Ridley. I really want to get Ridley. He's one of my top picks for sure. But Dark Samus looks really cool as well. So those two are on my list as well. But these are the only two Metroid Amiibos I have currently. All right, next up I got this Ice Climber Amiibo. I remember I got him on the day that he came out. On they came out, I meant. It was Ice Climbers, King K. Rule, and Piranha Plant. I remember I went to, or I asked my dad for $20 at the time. Uh, it was 2019 these Amiibos came out, so I was, how old was I? February of 2019, that was when these Amiibos came out. I was 13 turning 14, but yeah, um, I remember I, w I went to the mall, there was the local GameStop, and I asked my dad for $20, I went back to the GameStop, and this was the only like new Amiibo they had, so I bought him, Ice Climbers, awesome, because even though the ice is like, yeah, but... This is one really, really cool Amiibo, the Ice Climbers, you know, really, really, really good. I think it's time we start with my Pokemon Amiibos because I have quite a lot. And I think the very first Pokemon Amiibo, no, not the very first, maybe it was, Pikachu. But yes, this Pikachu is in a very bad shape. Like the nose is completely gone. I had to like put a little mark on with a Sharpie to make it look like it sells the nose. And there's marks all over this Pikachu. I will have to get a new one eventually, but hey, at least it's not broken. You know, and it's Pikachu. Come on, one of the it's it's Pikachu. Like that's that's all you need to know. The next one I'm gonna show is Greninja. Um, this Greninja is also not in a great shape, but I, of course, the Amiibos that I don't have in a good shape. Eventually, I'll get um newer ones, but I know they will be much more expensive than the time that I actually got these ones. This was also a gift from my aunt. I remember uh, she picked me up from my house on my birthday. It was the year. 2017 i think or 2016 it was one of those two years um and i went to we went to toys r us and she said i was able to pick one toy of my choice and of course i wanted the amiibos i chose this greninja amiibo because i think it was when this amiibo was pretty recent when it came out and it's greninja he looks really cool or it i should say um and yeah i'm so glad because this amiibo looks very awesome and of course again thank you if you're watching this which you're probably not but that's okay and then i got this gift as a birthday gift as well from my another aunt i had um you two um we went to walmart and they it was when this movie like barely came out so they had a bunch and i really like mewtwo um so of course i wanted this mewtwo amiibo and yeah he's got some marks but he's still one of the badass looking amiibos like look at this this pose really really cool right it's mewtwo what's not to love and yeah mewtwo probably my favorite no second favorite I'll tell you what my favorite looking Pokemon Amiibo is when we get to it. I think it's time to start with the starter pack. Well, not really the starter pack, but the trio. Um, Charizard first, of course. Charizard was the one that came out first because they added Charizard to Smash 4 um, by himself or itself. And I remember it was at the mall and I was kind of like begging my mom. And then she went to the GameStop and bought this for me. Uh, of course, yeah, you can tell how spoiled I was as a kid, but... Um, or how bratty, I should say. But I got this amiibo. And yeah, it's Charizard. I mean, he's really cool. It's Charizard. Next up, we have Squirtle. I think I got this out at the GameStop as well. When this Squirtle amiibo first came out. And 
I mean, he's probably the most basic looking one out of the three, but hey, it's Squirtle. Cool, really cool amiibo. And uh, the last one I got out of these three was, of course, Ivysaur. And Ivysaur looks very awesome, but still pretty basic. And like, yeah, questionable, but hey, that was, I guess it was the only way to have it to, you know, stand, right? But hey, Ivysaur, awesome amiibo. But that's not it for Pokemon. Of course, these Pokemon came with a trainer. And I have the Pokemon trainer right here. It was at Las Vegas. Uh, we went to this one random mall. They had a GameStop. It was around the time when this amiibo came out with Pichu and Isabel. And I got this one with Pichu. We'll show Pichu eventually, but no Isabel at the time. And yeah, look, it's 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 Pokemon trainer. He looks awesome. Yeah, nice. And like I said, I got Pichu as well uh, with the Pokemon trainer. And Pichu looks really cute. It's Pichu, of course. The most adorable looking one, probably. And the very last Pokemon Amiibo I have from the Smash series. That is probably my current favorite. Ever since I saw it, I wanted it so badly. Incineroar! Yes, this Incineroar Amiibo. He looks very awesome. I'm gonna call me he, but I, I don't know. Just don't judge. It's Incineroar. Like, look at this fiery belt. And the fur, like, oh my god, probably in my top 10 current favorite amiibos I have, for sure. It's Incineroar. Very, very awesome. Um, I really wanted him as soon as I saw it. So, yeah. I mean, come on. Like, who, who would not want this amiibo? Like, look at how cool it is. And that is it for my Pokemon amiibos. Now, what's the next series? All right, now I'll be filming in here, because why not? Oh, let me just adjust it. Eh, actually, that's that's the lowest it can go. Um, so the next amiibo I have is from Animal Crossing, but also Smash. Isabel. Uh, yeah, Isabel. Look at look at her. Uh, like I I of course I would prefer to have the villager amiibo, but this Isabel amiibo looks adorable, of course. And I mean it's Smash, so of course I have to get her eventually. And yeah, here's Isabel. Okay, I'm back. I'm probably not going to be putting pause anymore because I already have all the amiibos to with me. But next, let's do the fire amiibos. I only have three um, currently, which is kind of sad. Uh, first things first, we have the Krom amiibo. Uh, yeah, right here. Krom, he looks awesome. Even though I'm not I'm not a huge fan of fire. I'm going to play the games. But these amiibos, I have to admit, they're some of the best looking amiibos from the Smash series. Uh, and yeah, I... I don't remember where I got this amiibo. I think it was at a store. But yeah, I got Chrome. Um, and next we have Marth. I got this one online. I'm pretty sure it's a reprint because earlier this year, um, they restocked Marth. And I got this amiibo around... Actually, I got this amiibo last year, huh? It was my birthday of last year. So this is probably not a reprint. I have no idea. But it's Marth. He looks awesome. And then... Of it was Christmas of 2023, and that was where I got Ike. Uh, prepare yourself, right? Um, and he looks very awesome, probably my favorite one of the bunch. And yeah, these are, these are awesome amiibos. All right, next up, we're gonna go with my Legends of Zelda. I have five currently, and I believe the very first one I received out of these five is Zelda. Um, actually, I believe it was my sister who got this one. Um, it was the same day I got the Mewtwo Amiibo when my aunt took me and my sister out to eat because it was to celebrate our birthdays. Our birthdays were really close to each other. So, yeah, and got Zelda as well. Awesome. Um, and then I think I got this at a swap meet. I don't remember. Ganondorf. Um, he's probably the best looking one, of course. And it's Ganondorf, one of the best looking villains. Uh, you can see Ike in the background. But Ganondorf, pay attention to him. Look at look at his cape. Look at this. Yeah, it's Ganondorf. Oh, I'm, I'm see. One, of the, one of the best looking ones. Then, oh, I have a sad story. I had a Toon Link amiibo, but he was on a chair and my older brother sat on it and he broke it. I don't have it anymore and I was sad, but eventually I'll have to get a new one. Anyways, the next one I got, I don't remember. I think it was Sheik. Uh... If for those of you who don't have Sheik, um, I yesterday, as the day I was recording this, um, some of you guys already know, I got two new Amiibos. And when I was at the GameStop, uh, the employee said that Sheik is going to come out soon with some new restocks 
like in March, I believe. So for those of you guys who do not have Sheik, there's your chance. Um, sometime in March, there's going to be some more Sheik Amiibos on the shelves at the stores. So boom, be, be ready for that. But I don't remember where I got the Sheik Amiibo. I think it was at a store. Or I, th I think it was a gift from one of my aunts, maybe. I don't remember. But I got the Sheik Amiibo. So and look, she looks really awesome. Uh, next is Yen Link. I think I got him at a GameStop at one point. Um, and yeah, he looks awesome. Yen Link. I don't even know why they made him as a Smash Bros. character, but they did. And the most recent uh, Smash Zelda Amiibo I got was also for my birthday. The Link Amiibo. Um, the OG Link Amiibo. He looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, don't know why they made this that color. I know the Donkey Kong Amiibo is also like that, but I don't have him, sadly. I need him. But, um, I think the Diddy Kong one is also like this. I don't remember. But for some reason, they made that color. But hey, I got this Link Amiibo. I'm, I'm glad. And that's it for my Smash Zelda Amiibos. Next, we have... Okay, I forgot one Pokemon Amiibo. I apologize. I also have the Lucario Amiibo. I'm pretty sure I remember I got him at a Swamp Meet. I don't even know how I found him, but he was there. And I'm glad I got him because it's Lucario. Like, probably my third favorite looking Pokemon Smash Amiibo. And yeah, it's Lucario. Okie dokie. Next up, I have all three Star Fox Amiibos um, that are from Smash. The first one that I got out of these, I believe, is Fox. I found him at a Toys R Us. And I was so happy because I think... Like, I haven't played the games, but like I said, Super Smash Bros. introduced me to the majority of these characters. I would not know who Kirby, Link, Fox, Samus, Captain Falcon, I wouldn't have known who any of them were if it wasn't for Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So I have that game to thank for introducing me to all these Nintendo franchises. But yeah, Fox is one character I played with a lot, and he was one of the people that I really wanted. Like, he's the only one that has his standy, like, dark blue. So I'm so happy I got this Fox amiibo. Um, I'm just very happy. It's Fox. And not only Fox, but his buddy Falco. I don't remember what... I think I got him at Best Buy. Because wasn't he like a Best Buy exclusive? No, he wasn't a Best Buy exclusive. But I think it was around the time he came out. And I found him at a Best Buy. I don't remember if I got him for like five bucks. I think it was when he was on sale. So it wasn't when he barely came out. But it was when the Amiibos were on sale. It's like the stores wanted to get rid of these for some reason, but I'm glad they were on sale because I got these. Some of these were for a pretty cheap price, and I believe Falco was one of them. He looks awesome. Look at look at them. Him and Fox, they outdid themselves with these Star Fox Amiibos. And recently, I believe this was a Christmas gift in the year 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Wolf. Probably, actually, you know what? I did say Fox is my favorite looking one. I think Wolf is actually my favorite looking one. Um, he looks awesome, and I remember I did a Super Smash Brothers tourney a while back on my YouTube channel with these amiibos. I believe Wolf won. It was either Wolf or, Sma or Snake. I don't remember. If you guys do, let me know in the comments or in the live chat, because I believe this video is premiering. But yeah, I got the Wolf amiibo, and he's probably my favorite looking one. They really outdid themselves with this Wolf amiibo, and I'm so glad I got him. And that's it for the Star Fox amiibos. Now for the amiibos that are in separate franchises... A couple anyway. Actually, no. We have, we have Earthbound. Two Earthbound Amiibos. Ness. He was one of the first Amiibos I've ever gotten. And I remember I got him as a birthday gift. It was on the same day that I got the Sonic Amiibo. As well as Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. It was November of 2016. I was super excited. I, I pretty much played the game the entire day. My entire birthday. Mo like 95% of it was me playing Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. That is one day that I'll truly never forget because not only did I get that game, but I got these two Amiibos, Ness and Sonic, but we'll show Sonic soon. But look at Ness. I remember when he came out, he was a pain for people to get him because like everybody wanted Ness. And I believe at the time I, that my family got him, he was not as rare. So I'm so glad. But now he probably is rare. I have no idea. It's Ness. He looks awesome. But yeah. And last year at a swamp meet, I found a Lucas Amiibo. I got him for like ten dollars. I'm so happy because it's Lucas as well. Um, I'm so I was I remember the day when they announced that they were bringing back Lucas in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. And I I know a lot of people are probably happy because Lucas. Like I know a lot of people like Lucas more than Ness. Um, I of course I'm a Ness fan, even though I've never played the games, but 
I know these two characters because of Smash, obviously. But these amiibos look very awesome. All right, now it's time for the characters that are in third third party franchises. The next three are all from third party franchises. So we have Mega Man. I don't remember when I. Oh, I, I do think I do. It was at a GameStop at a different mall. Oh, that was the day where I got this Mega Man and that Super Mario Party Rosalina. So now I remember that Mario Party Rosalina amiibo I showed earlier. I did not get that at the same time as Daisy and Waluigi. I got that at the same time as I got this Mega Man amiibo. Yes, I know I'm speaking a lot, so sorry if you can't um, understand what I'm saying. But this Mega Man amiibo is probably one of my top favorites, even though it's kind of basic, but I just love this design. And I honestly like the character, even though I've never played the games, but Mega Man is one dope character. And I'm glad I got this amiibo. Now for one of my top favorite amiibos. I got this amiibo the same day as Ness as a birthday gift of the year 2016. Super Sonic the Hedgehog. He's getting his third movie coming out this year, and I'm very excited. And this is still one of my favorite amiibos. And it was also one of my first couple of amiibos I got. And I'm very happy. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Sure, he's got a simple design, but he's still one of my favorites because I'm biased. I kind of grew up with Sonic. I played a couple of the games. I watched the shows. I know a lot about this character and the franchise. Yeah, it's, it's Sonic. What's not to like about Sonic? And yeah, that's it for those. Wait, I have one more. That's from a third party franchise. Um, Waka Waka, Pac-Man. He's awesome. I'm pretty sure I got him as a birthday gift in the year 2017, I believe. It was the same year that I got the DDD. Kirby and those Mario Party amiibos. I got this Pac-Man amiibo the same day. It was awesome. And yeah, Pac-Man is, even though he's one of the most simple looking amiibos, he's one of my favorites for sure. He was one of the most, like one of the amiibos that I wanted the most and I'm so glad I got him because he's, he's awesome. He's awesome. Um, next up, I've got an amiibo that I remember I wanted, like one of my top amiibos for sure. And he is, like, probably in my top five when it comes to my favorite Amiibos I got. Um, I got him for Christmas. I forgot the year, but I remember I got him. It's Show Me Your Moves, Captain Falcon. He's awesome. One of the best-looking Amiibos. I'm biased. I love Captain Falcon. I've never played an, any F-Zero game, but he is one of my top favorite characters from Super Smash Brothers that I play with the most, and I'm so glad I got this Amiibo because it's Captain Falcon. Like, look at this. Look at this pose. One of the best looking amiibos for sure, and I'm so glad I have him. Now, this is probably my final third, no, not my final third party, but um, I got this the same time I got this wolf amiibo, I believe. So Christmas of 2022, at least that's what I think. Yeah, you already saw him. Snake, the solid snake amiibo. Um, everybody was so happy when they announced that snake along with everybody else was coming back to Ultimate. I was so happy. That's, that was the, that was the moment when I I knew I had to get this game, and when they made the Snake amiibo, I was so happy because it's Snake, well, like probably the most badass character to ever compete. I mean, to ever be in Super Smash Bros. Well, maybe that's just my opinion because there's also Sephiroth and Ganondorf, but you know it's Snake. It's like you know, come on. And who's next? I have two Kirby amiibos from Smash. Yeah, I don't have Kirby sadly, but I will get him eventually. So here's the first one I have, Dedede. I got him as a Christmas gift as well. And also, if you guys remember, I had a double Dedede Amiibo. And the other one I gave away um, like three years ago, four years ago. I don't remember when. It was around that time. But I did give away where I gave away that other King Dedede Amiibo I had. And one of you lucky people, yes, you already know if you're watching this, won that Amiibo. So yeah, you have, to, you have me to thank for that. But hey, I have this King Dedede Amiibo, one of my favorites for sure. Sure, it's a simple design, but I remember he was also one that I really wanted. I'm so glad I got him. King Dedede. But I still need to get Kirby. But he's not the only Kirby Smash Amiibo I have. I'm probably going to put these guys um, down here for a sec because yeah, you can see my, my shoulder. Um, because there's no room right now. Meta Knight. He was a recent Amiibo I got. Uh, I don't remember when I got him. I think it was a birthday gift of this year no not this year last year of course i believe from what i remember but it's meta knight he's awesome one of the most one of the best amiibos i have to say top 10 for sure in my opinion and i'm so glad i got my hands on this meta knight amiibo the the one from the kirby series is cool and all but this is the one where it's at i mean for those of you who have this amiibo i bet you know what i'm talking about 
And yeah, Meta Knight, he's so awesome. And he's also a character that I usually play a lot in Smash at as well. All right, next up, we've got characters from the Super Mario series back at it again. Uh, let me just move these noodles up real fast because they're kind of back on the printer. So give me a couple seconds since I'm still recording. Um, also, by the end of this video, let me know what your favorite amiibo is, if you've been collecting, or which amiibo that you like um, that you liked the most when you saw in this collection video. All right, I think I'm ready. It's time to show some Super Mario amiibos. This was one of the first amiibos I've ever had. I believe it was my first ever Smash Bros. amiibo. Dr. Mario, it was 2016. I was at a Target, and they had this amiibo, and that was around the time when I was really invested in amiibos. So I'm glad I got this amiibo. One of my first, one that I'll truly treasure because it was one of my first ever amiibos, and I believe my very first Smash Bros. amiibo. So Dr. Mario, awesome. Um, I'm putting. I'm, I'm gonna put these guys on the side over here because there's not much. Anyways, next up we got Bowser Jr. Um, I believe I got this as a gift as well for Christmas from one of my aunts. So thank you. And this amiibo has got some marks, as you can see. So eventually I'll have to get a new one. But hey, this Bowser Jr. amiibo looks very awesome. I mean, it's Bowser Jr. Like, I remember. I remember the day when they um revealed the trailer for Bowser Jr. joining Smash. And that was awesome. Probably my favorite character reveal trailer. Other than that everyone is here, of course. Next up, we've got Bowser. I got this at a swap meet. I don't remember if it was one where I live or one in Las Vegas. But I remember I found him at a swap meet and I got him for a... I, I forgot the price. I think it was like either like $10, $15. And this, I, this is definitely my favorite Bowser amiibo. I like the other one, but I think this is definitely my favorite one. This one looks very more like more evil if you... If you think about it. And sure, he's more small, but still more heavy, too. I mean, of course, it's Bowser. But I love this amiibo. Very, very good one. And, yep, there's Bowser. Next up, we have... Uh, let's do this one. Piranha Plant. Probably one of the most questionable uh, decisions by Sakurai and the people behind Smash Ultimate to include in the roster. Um, I remember I got him... When, where did I get him? I think it was a, either a birthday gift, Christmas gift, or maybe I found him in a store. But Piranha Plant. Really cool amiibo. I'm glad I got him. But I'm still... I still wonder why they decided to add Piranha Plant in the game in the first place. They could have given it to Waluigi or any other character, but I'm not complaining. Um, next up, let's do our green boy himself, Luigi. Um, I remember I got him the same day that I got... The Mewtwo amiibo. Um, this was like my early Christmas present from my aunt, if you will, at the time. And because he was also at that Walmart. And I'm like, oh, I want Luigi as well. Because it's Luigi. And he's from Smash Brothers, of course. Um, and yeah, I'm glad I got Luigi as well. He's cool. And I like that pose. Next up, ooh, uh, probably my favorite Mario amiibo that I have. I've been wanting this amiibo for so long and i finally got him last year for christmas i think it was christmas or my birthday it was one of those two mario himself yeah you're probably wondering what this amiibo you really wanted well yes i remember i was about to get this one at a swap meet one time but i i think um my parents said i shouldn't have gotten it because it was i it was pretty pricey from the swap meet well, of course it'd be pricey because amiibos are pricier these days i know it's not a word but still but I finally got my hands on this amiibo, and I'm so happy because I really love this amiibo. Sure, it's like basic, one of the first amiibos ever, but I mean, I just love it. I really love this amiibo, especially the Fireball. My Definitely my favorite Mario amiibo, and probably my favorite amiibo from the Mario characters um, in the Super Smash Bros. series uh, so far, anyway. But yeah, I just love this amiibo. I'm so glad I finally got him. Took, took a little while, but I finally got him. And he's definitely my favorite from the Mario series. But there's my second favorite that I also got for Christmas or birthday. It was one of the two. I don't remember, which is weird. Wario. I finally got a Wario amiibo. No, not the Mario Party one, but the one from Super Smash Brothers. This was another amiibo that I really wanted, and I finally got my hands on him. So I'm very happy. And yeah, it's Wario. Like, what's not to love? Wah, wah, wah. And that's it for the Mario series. I do have one from the Donkey Kong series. Probably my favorite amiibo. Actually, 
I think my favorite amiibo just got overthrown. My second favorite amiibo that I have, King K. Rule. One of the, the amiibos that I really, really wanted. And I was asking for him for like for my birthday and Christmas. I really wanted this amiibo. And I finally got it. It's the King K. Rule amiibo. Look at that gut. It made it of gold. And yeah, I really wanted this amiibo. And I'm so glad I finally got him. Um, I forgot the year. It was like 2021, 2022. One of those years. But I really wanted him. And I'm so glad I finally got him. My second favorite amiibo. It was my first. But you'll see what my first amiibo is eventually. Let's put you right there. All right, now it's time for some more third party. Well, there's one more, and then I'll get to the third party. Uh, one of the other recent amiibo I got, I believe it was for Christmas, the Super Smash Brothers Inkling amiibo. Um, yeah, she looks really awesome, much better than the OG Inkling amiibo. But uh, yeah, I finally got her too, and she's awesome. I really wish they made a Super Smash Brothers Inkling boy as well, but this one is good enough. So, or this one should be enough, I should say, and that's cool. Now I only have. Four amiibos. Nope, five. Where did the other two go? Oh, my bad. There's some on the ground. I have six amiibos left. And they're all third party. So let's start with these two. Because these two came with a bundle. Um, Steve and Alex. I got these two for Black Friday of the year 2022. They're at Best Buy. The original price was like $30. But because it was Black Friday, they made it $20. So I got two of these for $20. Not a bad deal at all. And plus Steve... One character that was highly requested to join Super Smash Bros. He's finally joined. And once these amiibos came out, I know all the Minecraft fans really wanted to get them. And I got my hands on them, so I'm so happy he did. Got them both together instead of separate. So that's Steve, and here's Alex. Um, of course, I like Steve more because I don't know much about Alex. But still, they're they're both cool. They should have been Enderman and the zombie one too. But there's Steve and Alex. Next... This one amiibo I got the same time I got Simon and Wolf and Snake and Incineroar, if I'm not mistaken. You'll never see me coming. Joker. This amiibo was one of the best looking amiibos for sure. And I'm glad I got my hands on him as well. Also, um, they did restock. So you know how the Sora amiibo barely came out? Um, he didn't come out by himself. There's some restocks of the Banjo and Kazooie, Joker, and Terry Bogart amiibo. Of course, I already had Banjo and Joker, so I got Sora and Terry, and I'm glad I did. Um, but Joker is still one very badass-looking amiibo for the Super Smash Bros. series. But now, I have three left. Um, let's do this one. This is now my new all-time favorite amiibo from the Super Smash Bros. series. Um, as soon as I saw it, I, I know I wanted it right away. Banjo and Kazooie. I got him for a birthday gift. I believe it was 2022 if I'm not mistaken. And I'm so glad I did, because look at him. Banjo and Kazooie. I'm so glad. If you remember, I made a reaction video to the E3 thing back in 2019, and I was so happy when they revealed that Banjo and Kazooie were going to join Super Smash Brothers. And as soon as these amiibos came out, I knew I needed them right away. And I finally got them. These, this is definitely my favorite amiibo um, currently, um, that I have anyway. But uh, yeah, still my current favorite. But now for the two recent amiibos that I had, I mean that I have, uh, I got these two yesterday as of the day that I'm recording. Let's first start with Terry Bogard. I'm so glad I finally got him because I looked up online and he was pretty pricey. And then when I found out that Sora wasn't coming out by himself, but they were doing restocks of Terry with Banjo and Kazooie and Joker, I knew I had to get my hands on Terry as well. So good thing I got him as well. I went to the GameStop. They had like two Sora Amiibos, three Banjo and Kazooie Amiibos, and like three Terry Amiibos and like two Joker Amiibos. But I already had Banjo and Joker, of course, and I only wanted to get Sora and Terry. And look at Terry. Look at the star. He's awesome. He's a really awesome Amiibo. But now for the very last Amiibo that I have out of this collection, the most recent Amiibo to ever release, Da Sora. That's right. Kingdom Hearts Sora. Look at his Keyblade. Like, they even have the Mickey Mouse logo. That's just really cool. This is a very cool-looking Sora Amiibo. Um, th I'm really glad that Nintendo um, went out with the Bane. This is the final Super Smash Brothers Amiibo. And look at him. Sora. So cool. And I'm so glad I got my hands on him. And that is it. That is my Amiibo collection. As you can see, I have plenty of Super Smash Brothers Amiibos, but I do not have them all. My goal is to try to get every single Super Smash Brothers Amiibo. There's those two down there. Let's bring them up here um, because they should not be down there by themselves. 
But yeah, these these are all the Super Smash Brothers Amiibo that I have. Well, not all. There's more over here. Um, and I'm planning to get every single one of the Super Smash Brothers Amiibos. I'm not there yet, but we'll see where I am at in the next five years. But these are not the only Amiibos. Of course, I also have the Amiibos that are not from the Super Smash Brothers series. But yeah, that's my entire Amiibo collection as of now, 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one. I apologize. But, I mean, come on. With, with the amount of Amiibos I have, it makes sense. And also, if you are also Amiibo collectors, let me know which one that you have is your current favorite. Let me know which ones you really want to get that you don't have. And also, if you don't and you just watch this video, let me know which Amiibo you really like that you saw. Your top favorite Amiibos. My top favorites are, of course, the King K. Rule. Sora is now in my top. Banjo and Kazooie. Meta Knight. King Captain Falcon. Mario, of course. Joker. Those are definitely the top ones for me. And yeah, I'm just very happy I got these Amiibos. And of course, there's a bunch that I still need to get from the Super Smash Bros. series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one. I apologize, but it's understandable. And thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. And stay tuned for the next Amiibo collection, like a year from now. And let's see which new Amiibos I get by then. Thanks for watching.